Administrator, if you let me rebuild the partitions, we may be able to stop the transfer. For how long, Die? You said they'd never be breached, and it was less than a year before. God damn it! What is Ludlow doing down there? I can't hear myself think. Should we save this for another time, Administrator? The factory situation seems to require immediate attention. No, no! We have to solve this. The gangs are coming, and without the CE working, we're not going to be ready for them. Let Ludlow handle it. It's only his fucking job. It is not for me to speak before you have spoken to Administrator Markham. Please speak to her now. Administrator, you have visitors. Huh? Who are you? I told Benny not to- Oh, you're the- Sorry, I can't remember the name. The hired gun Saul sent to check up on me. Well, I can't say I'm happy to be spied on, but as long as you're here, you can make yourselves useful. I've got a situation on my hands. Currently? I'm not sure, but yes. I'm Abigail Markham, administrator and leader of Steel. First off, we've heard that some of Liberty Buchanan's army are coming this way looking for easy pickings. Normally, we could manufacture some turrets and defend ourselves, but with this strike on... See, this whole place is run by a complex computation engine we built a while back. It does everything. Hiring, scheduling, production quotas, payroll... Shifts and quotas were changed in strange ways. New hires were put in positions they were... Those accidents have sparked worker unrest. And unfortunately, Ludlow, my new chief of security, seems to be one of those bad hires. He's chasing Celine Crow, the worker's leader, around like a rabid dog, causing as much damage as she... You will not be a rabid dog. Get down to the factory and see what's what. If Ludlow's behaving, help him. If not, take over. Just remember... Your priority is not punishing workers. It's getting things running again so we can protect ourselves. I don't expect you to work for free, but I'm not promising anything until I see some results. Do well and you'll be amply rewarded. And I might put more work your way down the line. Thank you. And listen, you may have to shoot some workers, but I don't want them put down permanently. Training up new ones takes too long. Lazar, my senior tech here, has some new non-lethal weapons we're working on. Lazar, you have clearance to provision the Rangers with a batch of NLWs. You got it, boss. Die. You go with them. Of course, Administrator. Rangers. I am at your disposal. Excellent. Solve this for me, Rangers. By any means necessary. Rangers, let's get you. I die. I have the non-lethal weapons mo Thank you, Researcher Blazer. It's Lazar, actually. Accent on the Czar. But yes, I'm your P.O.P. for pretty clever if I do so. what these weapons do is dis- That is incorrect, Long- Come on, die. You're not exactly helping my sales pitch here. Right. Oh, uh, just to warn you, I do have to charge a $1 processing fee for each item. Sorry.
sorry, guys. If Markham says I'm supposed to give you this batch, you gotta take it all. Up to you what you want to do with it once it's signed over. Our next objective is finding Carl Ludlow, security chief. He will be on the factory level. Proceed to the elevator on the west end of this floor. Rangers, when you are ready, I will accompany you to the research department and the factory. I am now yours to creepy. You don't need to go in there. Get back. Oh, wow. Well. Security team members. Return to the Warlock Factory or you will be reported. Have you resolved the situation in the factory? Bye. Sorry, I can't actually sell you anything till the factory is settled and Markham gives me the high sign. The freebies I gave you will have to do. Good luck out there. It appears the medical supply merchant is now open for business. Come on, Crow! Open the door and nobody gets hurt! Fuck you, Ludlow! You keep saying that and then you keep killing my people! Now get Markham down here so I can give her our demand! No more 16-hour shifts! No more docking our pay for missing quotas that nobody could make! No more locking us in the factory so we can't see our families! And most importantly, look- I'm not bothering the boss with your crybaby bullsh- Then good luck getting through the door, asshole. Cause it's not open- Ah, oh, fuck this. You the help Markham's been promising me. But damn, Crow's hiding with her crew in the foundry behind that blast door. Get it open, and we can end this bullshit. What? I thought you were bringing me a plan. I've been asking Markham to find me a way through for days. I figured maybe her soup. A heavy duty cutting laser will do it. There is one in the robot factory. It is too heavy for humans to carry. But it would be easy to build a warbot and mount the laser. Die? <laughs> That's a great idea. Not in the least. All that was required. Yeah, yeah. Okay then, we got a plan. But it ain't gonna be quite as easy as Die says. Cause Crow's wreckers are all through the plant, tearing shit up. You have to clear them out before you can build the bot. You up for it? Great. Crow's thugs may make a move before, or you can just- Who put a brute like this in charge of anything?
take him down. The factory scheduling is run. Return to your jobs. Twelve hour shift with no breaks or a crime. Go fuck yourself, robots. Oh well, you are missing on company time. Return to your jobs. Why don't you return to the scrap heap? We're not moving to Markham Cox to grow. Warning. There will be no more warning shots. Return to your jobs. Park park. Go ahead and shoot, Tin Pot! We're not moving! Fear us, Lundo! We're not moving! Sitting during work hours and blocking access to the Warbot assembly line. Violations noted. Come any closer! Stop! Who are you? Then get this robo dog away from us. We won't talk till it's gone. I can hear you making fucking fools of yourselves. Don't let those slackers tell you what to do. Kick their asses and get to the assembly line. Time's a wasting. Oh, the poor babies. You tell them I would be sicking dogs on them if they got off their asses and did some fucking work for it. Or better yet, just kick their asses like I told you to. Use Markham's mercy weapons if it makes you feel better. Or not. Fucking vandals! You really did it! Unbelievable. You... You... You killed it! I, I can't believe it. that was amazing! So, what do you want? You're what now? You think we're going to help you kill- Why doesn't he trust us? What? No way! You just want to take away the only protection Crow has? We can't agree to that! Not without a fight, you won't! Get these stars, brothers and sisters! He's alerted.
Get ready for the fist! 